is test development process and why it is important right so test development process is a very important aspect for any testers in the project and why exactly it is important because we'll understand all of that what is test development process so test development process when we say process it is basically step by step process right so it will be you follow some some step and then you go further so it's a structured approach okay test development process is nothing but a structured approach and step by step process followed by testers to design and develop the test cases that's the test development process now why uh, what all is basically involved in the test development process the key phases are analysis design and implementation okay so test analysis test design and test implementation that's the key or important three important phases that are involved into the test development process and if as a tester you understand that test development is a process or test development you follow the step-by-step -step process your test cases and the level of detail that you will capture in the test cases and scenarios you will be um, absolutely amazed that structured way is always better and will give you a lot of better insights apart from the unstructured approach. So test development process is nothing but a structured approach, step by step, step approach and high level you do analysis, you do design and you do implementation. Right now, why exactly it is important? It is important because it gives you very well thought ideas and structure to your test development to your test case documentation why because you have the first phase you go ahead with the analysis phase first okay so you analyze whatever is available whatever documentation is available and that's where you apply the static testing techniques to see what all information is available in in the requirements what all information is available from other stakeholders are there any gaps in the documentation that has been provided to you and based on that analysis you come up with lot of questions first thing and those questions trigger the solutions to those questions right so you will find a lot of information from that analysis phase itself and if there are any gaps in the requirement they will be taken care of the new inf the further information will be provided to you and you will start thinking from that analysis what are you going to test basically right what you are going to test out of those requirements what when when that application will be built by the developers so that analysis phase you apply the static testing then you go ahead with the design phase you apply all the test case development techniques or test case design techniques the black box te testing techniques right so equivalence partitioning boundary value analysis straight transition technique decision table technique depending on the combination what all you can apply to test that particular application or software or function functionality you will then go ahead and design your test cases accordingly and then you will implement you will elaborate those scenarios or the conditions that you have defined into further steps which will flush out what all data will be required test data will be required to go ahead and use in that particular step of a particular test case right so this is the major importance of following the test development process so if you spend time step by step in your requirement even though if you are working in in scrum right it doesn't mean you straight away jump into the documentation of your test case right in scrum as well there is a lot of collaboration you go through the user story you you work collaboratively with those user stories you go through read those user stories you see the acceptance criteria you go back back to the product owner to the business analyst with the queries that's the analysis phase then you also start thinking about what all test design techniques you are going to apply in order to test those right that flushes out the lot of scenarios that then gets fed back to the developers that testers are going to test these particular scenarios and then in case the developers haven't thought about implementing those scenarios in their code they will then go ahead and think about it that we have to cater for these scenarios as well and this helps us to work in a more proactive rather than reactive way right uh, and if you are more proactive as a testing team the defects will get then stopped right defects will 
will be stopped from flowing from the development phase to the testing phase. So when you actually start actually start test execution, there might be very minimal number of defects that you are able to find. And that's the whole point. And when we say shift left um, or basically spread left, that is what we are trying to do what that's what you should be trying to do as the team that you are basically helping the development team the overall project as a testing team to prevent the defect and not only to detect and find the defect right so prevention is more important and will be more cost efficient in saving rather than when defect have already been introduced and you are finding it then again it goes back to the developer they fix it they introduce more defect that is not the absolute you know that is not a good approach at all right we need to change it so that is why the structured or test development process is really really important the step-by-step -step process is really really important doesn't matter you're following traditional development approaches or scrum which is the latest agile software development approach so 